has become the regular venue for the X-Trial of Nations, indoor trials equivalent of the World Cup where national pride is fought for in a top-level pairs competition. The Palais Nikaya hosts the 10th championship and the third to take place in France. This season, though, could see a shake-up in the pecking order. In a pivotal rule change for the 2016 competition, teams are required to track at least one rider aged under 25. The new regulation means three new riders for the favourites in 2016. For the USA, first time entrance to the championship, both riders are new to the competition. Uh, Team USA is, is extremely excited to get to be able to compete at any indoor, let alone the trial, indoor trial of nations. Uh, we're pretty optimistic about the event. The sections are looking reasonably difficult, but I think we're comfortable with most of them. Uh, but we're, like we said, we're optimistic. We're not really result-based this weekend. We're just going to ride our best, and I think if we do that, we'll have good results. Having already fielded inexperienced Gianluca Tourneau last season, Italy may be the biggest beneficiary of the new regulation. They have the only unchanged duo for 2016. The team has a great opportunity to show what we're all about and to chase a top result. We always go out to win, but we know that it won't be easy. Our real objective is second position, which we know is realistic, and we'll do our best to get the best possible result. Ewan Roberts makes his X-Trial debut and earns his first call-up for Great Britain. With only two bronze medals to show from the last three competitions, hopes are high the change may boost their chances. We will try to compete against Spain, but this will be my first indoor and they have the best riders in the world and I hope to be quite competitive and I'll pick up some points off the, well, the guys with experience in the indoor. France has shown excellent progression in the X-Trial of Nations over the last three stagings and has continued a development programme that, it is hoped, will bear fruit in front of a passionate local crowd. Of course it's a great responsibility, but it's a great honour and opportunity for me to take part in the X-Trial of Nations. It's a childhood dream, with 10 years of work behind it just to be able to get to this level. Also, we had a really great training session on Tuesday with Alex and trainer Jérôme Delaire, so I think we're ready to give everything and try to shine. It's all changed for Spain, with Albert Cabastan missing from the lineup for the first time, and Tony Bow ruled out through injury. Adam Raga and Jaime Busto are nonetheless the favourites. It will be a little more difficult to win because I'm not at the same level as Albert Cabastan, but every team has a young rider, so it should be more or less the same as in other years. I'll do the best that I can, and we'll see if we can win yet again. Nine times winners Spain are much touted for another victory. Home hopes rest on Alexandra Ferrer and newcomer Benoit Bancaz. Ewan Roberts is the first Welsh rider to take part in the X-Trial of Nations. Italy's 2015 challengers return with high hopes this year. And outsiders the USA have nothing to lose in their first appearance. A series of speed sections will determine the starting order for the first of two laps through the sections here in Nice. First up then for the USA, Brian Roper gets underway on this speed section. A short and fast dash as he clatters into the first obstacle and continues on across the ramps. Hesitating slightly there on the turn, Brian Roper making his X-Trial debut of course, the USA first time entrance to this competition. And again hesitation before making the step. And a little bit scrappy here for Brian Roper. 
but he is going to make it over with a little bit of effort towards the finish. Roper then through 30.29 seconds. It's not particularly fast, and I would suggest that the other four nations have a good opportunity to beat that time around this speed section. But uh, a promising first display nonetheless from Brian Roper as he battles his way through the speed section. Gianluca Tournour now for Italy. Podium challengers last season. Looking to make it into the top three this season. So not well and truly underway and showing a great deal more alacrity than Brian Roper before him. Really attacking as he makes it between the main obstacles. And up well on the back wheel there. Brian Roper had to use a dab to kind of haul himself forward. Gianluca Tornor heading towards the finish and does so in a time of 25.31 seconds. So quite significantly faster than Brian Roper in the initial lap one speed section. Italy sent out the weaker of their two for the first speed section. Of course, there'll be a second speed section for lap number two. In the case of Great Britain, they're sending out their experienced rider first. So James Dable will try and get them off to the best possible start. So far, so good for Dable. Hesitating a little bit there on that uh, ramp. Preparing himself with a little bit of hesitation for that step. Eventually making it to the top. Dable coming towards the finish now, scampering to the line. And that's 25.55 seconds, so two tenths outside of the time set by Gianluca Tournour. And it's Italy who are top still out of the three runners through this speed section so far. Jaime Busto next up for Spain. Encouraging the crowd to support him in his first appearance in the X Trial of Nations. Busto underway, comparing himself to the time of Gianluca Tornor of Italy, who leads at the moment in this speed section. As I said previously, there will be a second set of speed sections to determine the starting order for lap number two. And it's Busto who will take the first speed section for Spain. Over the line, it's 25.15 seconds. Busto goes top ahead of Gianluca Tornor who slips to second in the standings with France still to come. Most of the teams have gone for their weaker performer for the lap one speed section, so saving the best till last. Benoit Bancaz is the inexperienced Frenchman who takes the first lap speed section for the host nation. Applauded vigorously by the local crowd here. They do always get behind their riders here in Nice. Speed is of the essence, of course, for Benoit Bancaz, looking to beat 25.15 seconds. The time set by Jaime Busto, impressively getting the better of early pace setter Gianluca Tournour. Bancaz to the finish, and it's 25.35, so in between Italy and Great Britain for Benoit Bancaz, who takes third position in the speed section. Brian Roper makes his X Trial of Nations debut. The 22 year old from Phoenix, Arizona, tackling section two. His teammate Andrew Putt failing section one, so a five mark score already for the USA. Confident start though for Brian Roper, the former US number two, 2015 World Cup rider, of course, in individual competition. One main step will challenge the riders here. Let's see what Roper can do. He is going to pick up a mark there for leaning, but does make himself up to the top. That's the main step achieved. Roper well on his way towards completion of section two. This would be the first section that the USA have ever completed in X Trials of Nations history. And there's gonna be two marks there for a lean and a dab, but Roper does eventually get through to the finish. Three marks the tally, moving the USA onto a lap total of eight. Seven marks dropped from two sections so far for Andrew Putt. The USA sitting on a total of 10 from the opening yes. half of this lap. Section four next yes. up for Andrew Putt, a tower of rock cap totems for the riders to cross here. This, in theory, one of the easier sections of the lap, but Putt did have to drop a mark there 
making it towards the crest and that's going to be another for leaning yes. eventually hauling himself to the top Andrew yes. Putt the youngest rider in tonight's field the 17 year old from Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania makes it through to the finish of section four three marks scored there as the USA moves on to 13 after failure last time out, Brian Roper will close out the lap for the USA, who sit on 18 marks from the opening five sections. Roper underway with a dab there. This is the waterfall section. The rock mountain itself, as you can see from the view of the minder, is perilous enough, but the addition of water is what's going to pose the riders their stiffest challenge here. And Roper slips down across the other side of that rock ledge and he's going to have real difficulty now to make it onto the crest. He's already taken a couple of uh, penalty marks on this section. He's trying to bridge across, but that's quite a, a hefty lift he's going to have to make to get through to the finish. And I think Roper's got himself into a situation from which he's going to struggle to get out here in section six trying to lift the front wheel but of course it's just slipping back down in the water here oh and he has eventually slipped down that's a five mark score to close out the lap for the USA a second consecutive failure and a third of the lap to finish on a total of 23 not the best of performances for Great Britain through the speed section and they are therefore in the uncomfortable position of being second out through the sections the USA generally made it pretty far through the section, so the British representatives have at least been able to see a possible route through these challenges. Ewan Roberts first up, the 19-year-old from Bangor in North Wales, making his X-Trial debut here tonight. Working his way through section one, already two marks accrued so far. This course laid out of blocks and cylinders. Riders working their way over two sharp crests to the challenging step here that closes the section. Oh, Roberts almost made it up in one go, eventually had to take a mark for leaning, but is going to make it through to the finish, and that's three marks. The USA dropped five in the same section. The second appearance of the night for Welshman Ewan Roberts. Section three, the boards, probably the most difficult section of the lap because of this significant step in the early stages of the section. Roberts watched on by his minder. He's made it up onto the crest and hauls himself to the top. He's going to take a mark for leaning and one for a dab to pull himself across. Keeps his foot down to make it across to the other side. So two marks accrued so far on this section three for Ewan Roberts. Very limited indoor experience from British Championship events over the last couple of seasons. Roberts, who finished third in the World Cup class in the last outdoor season. Huge step up in level to tonight's event. Another mark accrued there by Ewan Roberts, but he is going to work his way through towards the finish. And it's going to be a three-mark score from Section 3, leaving Great Britain on 11. The USA were on 10 at the same point. So a very poor start from Great Britain. James Dable attempting to recover it here. Section 5. Dable with five marks accrued through his opening two rides. This is his third and final section of lap number one, Section 5. Pretty similar to uh, Section 1, actually, but in the opposite direction and with some additional obstacles here. Dable making his fifth X-Trial of Nations appearance tonight. The six times British trial champion, reigning title holder as well, of course. Building up to the closing elements of this section number five. One of the longer ones on this lap, but no great difficulties in terms of his alacrity through it. And it is a second consecutive clean for Great Britain starting to find their stride now late on. Ewan Roberts will close out lap one for Great Britain. The nation's second in the all-time medal table, haven't made the top two positions since back in 2007, when Dougie Lampkin was still in the team. Ewan Roberts, part of a new breed of British trials riders that we saw competing in the World Cup 
in the last Trials campaign. Roberts making his X Trial of Nations debut, and he's just overshot it there slightly. Manages to stop himself from sliding off the other side of the rock by putting down his right foot and he's going to use it to turn himself back in the right direction but he's in a similar position now to the USA representative Brian Roper who got stuck between the two wet rocks and was unable to find a way to get the front wheel up could be the same situation here for Ewan Roberts who's going for a different approach trying the other side of the rock which isn't quite so wet but still paddling his way to the top and that's a five mark score to close lap one for Ewan Roberts so the Welshman finishing the lap on 11 from three sections, James Dable five from three, and it's a lap total of 16 compared to the USA on 23. Benoit Bancaz, the 19-year-old ex-trial of nations debutant from Chambéry in the southeast of France. Section two for the Frenchman. Alexander Ferrer, his teammates clean through section one, a strong start for the home nation. Third through the sections. Confident start for Benoit Bancaz. He's got to drop down the other side of this step and then he's got to make that lift that posed difficulties for the two riders before him. Brian Roper picking up three marks and James Dable failing this section. Those are the two efforts through so far. Bancaz clean up to this point. Can he remain clean through this step? Up he goes on the back wheel, beautiful! And the fans love that one here in Nice. Into the closing stages of the section now, roared on by the local crowd. It's clean for Bankaz. What a brilliant debut in the X Trial of Nations. Two sections and two sections clean for France. Alexander Ferrer for his second appearance of the day. The X Trial world number six making his third X Trial of Nations appearance, bidding for a third podium finish as well. Ferrer clean through section one, Bankaz clean through section two. This is the biggest step of section three. The cost marks to both Andrew Putt and Ewan Roberts, and it's going to cost one at least to Alexander Ferrer. One for leaning. But he hauls himself up onto the back wheel without any further dropped penalty points. So far, so good for Alexander Ferrer. One dropped mark, comparing favourably to the efforts of Andrew Putt and Ewan Roberts before him on this section. France already comfortably up on Great Britain and the USA are more worried about remaining in podium contention. With Italy and Spain still to come, it's one mark from the opening half of lap one for France. Straight on to section four with Benoit Bancaz. Clean through section two. France have dropped just one mark from the opening three sections. Bancaz, the World Cup regular last season, actually won the opening round in Japan over two days and finished fifth overall. Three consecutive podium positions closed out his campaign as he found his stride and found his stride first time out as well. What a brilliant start his X Trial of Nations debut and he's still clean on section four as he heads towards the finish and France are putting themselves well and truly in contention here tonight Bank has through for a second clean France still on one from four sections it's up to reigning French champion Alexandre Ferrer to close the lap just one mark for France so far. The waterfall section that none of the other competitors have made it through. Roper and Roberts both failing in the latter stages. Alexandre Ferrer building himself up. He's got to try and make it across in two bounds to avoid slipping between these two wet rocks as his two predecessors did. Ferrer has done it! Oh, brilliant! To close the lap on just one mark for France. Ferrer scoring a solitary mark. Benoit Bancaz clean through his three sections. France sit on one, Great Britain 16 and the USA 23. And France well and truly in contention, not just for a podium, but potentially for victory. Gianluca Tournour makes his second X Trial of Nations appearance here tonight. First up for Italy on section one. To maintain pace with France, 
Italy can afford to drop just one mark around the lap. It's a sensational effort from Bancaz and Ferrer to get them into such a strong position. And regardless of what Spain go on to do, that is a superb start, but really gives us a contest for the victory here tonight. Italy have already stated their intention to battle for second, and they'll certainly be looking for a place on the podium. Their target tally, perhaps 16 from Great Britain. That at the moment sees Roberts and Davil sit in second position, but with Italy and Spain still to come, they could potentially step to fourth. Particularly after this brilliant display from Gianluca Tournor, clean through section one. A second appearance of the night for the 2015 European Trials champion Gianluca Tournor. Clean through section one, but Matteo Grattarola undid his hard work with a five in section two. Tournor now approaching the step that cost even Alexander Ferreira mark. And he can't make it, slips back down to a second consecutive five for the Italians. Ten marks with two sections remaining for the Italians. Great Britain sat on 11 at this point and the USA on 13. So Italy are in contention for a podium position. And it's Matteo Grattarola who will bring the lap home with two consecutive appearances in section five and then section six. Grattarola who hasn't competed regularly at world level since back in 2014 continues to rack up Italian national championships. Former European trials champion, Matteo Grattarola, six times Italian champion. He's going to cost himself a mark there for leaning as he makes it up the step, but not particularly confidently. He will make it through towards the finish, but with two marks to his name and a scrappy effort there from Matteo Grattarola as Italy move on to 12. Behind the mark that Great Britain sat on at the same point and with one section still to come. Grattarola will take two sections in succession. Tournour did the same earlier on here tonight, running section three and four in a row. And Grattarola on the waterfall section. Well, he's already seen it done, thanks to the efforts of Tournour in the speed section. Italy running out second to last on the sections. And Grattarola has seen Ferrer make it through here, but has gone for a slightly different approach. He's going to take it in stages, and that's going to cost him a couple of marks. One for leaning and one for a left leg dab as he bridges to the final rock. But he is going to make it through. Grattarola then finishes the lap with two consecutive two mark scores for a lap total of nine. Gianluca Tournor factoring in five marks from his three sections. Italy finishing on 14 and two marks ahead of Great Britain, provisionally occupies second. Jaime Busto makes his ex trial of nations debut at the age of 18. The 2014 World Cup champion, of course, does have. A few appearances in individual extra competition to his name. Struggled in four appearances as a wild card, most recently in the final round of the 2016 campaign in Marseille. This the step that has posed the greatest difficulty through section two. Busto clean so far. Adam Raga was clean through section one. Spain have a challenging one mark tally to match to keep up with France. And Busto does make it to the top of that step clean. Still on target for Spain. Busto with a clean on his ex-trial of Nations debut. Spain remain on zero marks from the opening two sections. And it's Adam Raga who will be up next through section three. Spain have already seen Alexander Ferrer drop a mark on this section and they put out their strongest rider to tackle it in the hope that they may just finish this lap without dropping a mark and would move ahead of France. But Raga has got to run clean here to do it. And he hasn't, he's dropped a mark for leaning there. Just using the sump of the machine to make it up to the top, trying to edge himself forward now. And off the base of the machine, does so on one mark from section three. And Spain now cannot afford to drop any further marks around this lap one, or France would take the lead of the event. 
And that really would be a turn up. Spain the clear favourites here tonight. Raga dropping the first mark of the day for Spain, who sit level with France and still have three sections to tackle. Two consecutive cleans for Jaime Busto leave Adam Raga with an opportunity to level the scoring at the top of the standings with France. And very quickly working his way through this section six as well. If he can remain clean, Spain remain at the top of the standings with France. Raga is through, clean on section six for a lap total of one. Jaime Busto clean through his three sections. Spain finish on one. France also on one. We have a tie for the lead of this extra trial of nations after lap number one. Lap two now follows a similar pattern, a series of speed sections to decide the starting order. And the riders then tackle all of the lap one sections in alternative configurations. Brian Roper appeared in the lap one speed section for the USA. And after the USA finished bottom, around lap one sections Brian Roper is first out through the speed section on lap two but it is the same speed section so Putt has already seen this completed by his teammate Brian Roper earlier on tonight and attacks it with a little more alacrity seemingly the faster of the two around speed sections of the Americans lap two speed section about to be completed by Andrew Putt a little hesitation on the final turn and struggles to make it over the crest of the cylinder but comes through to the finish in 28.05 now that would have put him bottom on the lap one speed sections but it is around about two seconds faster than his teammate Brian Roper so let's see what Ewan Roberts can do for Great Britain they were second to last through the sections so they're second through this speed section with Ewan Roberts Britain used their strongest rider in the lap one speed section. It didn't really work out for James Daybill. And Great Britain then proceeded to struggle through the six sections. Sits second to bottom only ahead of the USA. And at the moment behind Italy in the battle for the podium positions. Roberts working his way through. Hasn't been an easy run for him. He comes over the line to the finish and it's 28.3. So two and a half tenths slower than Andrew Putt. Ewan Roberts goes to the bottom of the standings in this speed section. And the USA, after running out through the sections first on lap one, will not have the same challenge on lap two. That's great news for the USA and specifically for Andrew Putt after his effort in the speed sections. Matteo Grattarola is next up. The stronger of the two Italians, Italy, France and Spain, all saved their most experienced rider for the lap two speed section. Britain went in the opposite direction and could now find themselves going out first through the sections on lap two. Grattarola working through with great speed and it's 24.63 seconds. The fastest time of the night for the Italian. France and Spain still to appear. It's Alexander Ferrer for France and then Adam Raga for Spain. Host nation representative Alexander Ferrer first up out of the two contenders. Spain and France locked level on one mark apiece after lap one. Starting order could play a part in deciding lap two. Ferrer attacking this speed section. Speed sections are common to indoor trials in France. And Ferrer is making it look easy, but he knows that he's got to do it as quickly as possible to try and get the better of Grattarola, who set a strong time. He's done so. 24.54 seconds with less than a tenth of a second to spare. France will run out after Italy through the sections, thanks to the efforts of Alexander Ferrer. Now, can Adam Raga beat the pair of them? Grattarola and Ferrer both putting in fast times. Adam Raga, the former X-Trial world champion, winner of the opening round of this campaign in Sheffield before slipping to second behind Tony Poe, replaces Bo tonight. The master and reigning world champion out through injury. And Raga has held up well on lap one for Spain. And he's taken the fastest time through the speed section. 23.18 for a brilliant table topping result for Adam Raga. 
Camille, s'il vous plaît, et... Euh Great Britain sits on 21 marks from the two laps combined so far after a five mark score for Ewan Roberts through section one. James Dable enters section two. This is section two from lap one in a reverse configuration. It's the main step in the latter stages of the section that will separate the riders here. James Dable working his way through the early stages of the section. Well, Great Britain with that massive disadvantage of running first through the second lap will be really disappointed to have finished bottom in the speed sections because that's really going to leave it leave them up against it now to challenge for the podium remember they had two marks to make up on Italy and after a five through section one James Dable has got to try and make it through this really alarming looking step to make it to the close of section two he's got around about 10 seconds remaining on the clock James Dable the biggest moment of section two for the British representative front wheels up and he's gone down two successive failures then for Great Britain as James Dable scores a five on section two for a lap total of 10 and an overall tally of 26 for Great Britain Lap two has been a real struggle for the British duo of Ewan Roberts and James Dayville. Two successive failures for the senior of the British riders. And Great Britain have nothing at all to show from lap two. Ewan Roberts putting his left leg down just on the first of these rocks. A full tower still to make it through for the Welshman. Another dab there onto the second rock. He's going to have to be careful here not to accrue too many marks because he's got the majority of the section still to complete. And Great Britain are yet to make it through a section on lap two. Slipping quickly out of contention. And Robert slipping off the back of that rock had to use another dab. That's a third of the lap now. For you and Roberts. And it's all over. It's going to be a five mark score, a fourth dab. And a failure on section four for Ewan Roberts, who continues to paddle his way through towards the close of the section. But it's all over for the young Welshman, who finishes on a five-mark score on section four. That's now a lap tally of 20 out of a possible 20 for Great Britain and 36 overall. Two sections remaining then. Roberts will take two in a row as he comes out for section five. A repeat of section five from the opening lap. Only two riders drop marks on the section first time around. The USA's representative Brian Roper and Italy's Matteo Grattarola. James Dable was clean through this section on lap number one. Ewan Roberts putting in a strong start. But one mark already accrued. Will this be the first section that a British representative is able to complete on lap two. It's a second mark, another dab for Ewan Roberts. But he does look set to make it through. Calmly to the finish, two mark score. Britain make it through their first section, an alarming lap total so far of 22. That means that they sit on 38 marks overall, coming on to section number six. A lengthened and tougher version of section six from lap number one. James Dable will take on this section. I wonder whether Britain couldn't have put their stronger performer on some of the easier sections to bank some marks because this lap really has been a disaster for Great Britain. First out through the sections. And that really has been a stumbling block for them as Dable struggles to get it up the rock. He's going to concede a mark for leaning, that's for certain. He tries to bounce to the right of the rock. And then he's got to drop down and to the right the other side. His minor encouraging him on. Dable continues on through the section. He has got marks to his name. But it's the latter stages of this section that will be the hardest. He's got to make it across that massive chasm and to the other side. He almost made it, but clatters the sump on the rock 
and comes down off the back of the machine, leaving it at the summit. Great Britain finishing on 27 marks for a lap total of 43. And the British pair could well find themselves in a battle with the USA in the minor positions. The Americans scoring 23 on lap one. They have 20 marks to play with around lap two to tie with Britain in the minor positions. Andrew Putt coming through section two. Brian Roper failing section one, matching the British performance so far. The steps much tougher, the level of difficulty clearly higher on lap two than lap one. Putt slipping down the other side and accruing a mark on his landing. But this is where the British representative, James Dable, struggled and scored a five as he was unable to make it to the top of the step. Having seen Dable attempt and fail, what can Andrew Putt do for the USA? He tries to get up, but the minor catches the front wheel. It's a five, a lap total of 10. The USA sit on 33 so far. The American duo will need two clean sections from the last two sections of the day. Does seem fairly unlikely and now is actually confirmed because Andrew Putt has to put down his left leg at the start of section five. A cruise one mark. That will move the USA onto an overall total of 44. Great Britain finished the lap on 43. And the USA will finish bottom. <laughs> But it's all about pride from here on in for Andrew Putt, runner-up in the 2015 USA National Championship, a regular in the USA's Trial of Nations team over the last two seasons, making his debut in X-Trials equivalent here tonight. Putt through to the finish with one mark accrued, one mark better than Great Britain, but too much work to do for the USA in the latter stages. And they'll head into section six, already consigned to the bottom position on 44 marks as Brian Roper tackles section six. And comes straight down the other side for a five mark tally. It's a lap total of 26 and an overall tally of 49 for the USA, who slipped behind Great Britain overall. Gianluca Tournour will take on section one for Italy. He could confirm a podium position as early as this first section. Great Britain finished on 43 and Italy finished lap one on 14. So as long as they don't take a five in all six of the sections, Great Britain having taken a five in five of the six sections will be consigned to fourth position. Strong start for Gianluca Tourneur, who will be aware of exactly what he has to do here. But he has conceded a couple of marks already on observation. Just got to work his way through to the finish without scoring a five and will guarantee a podium position for Italy in the 2016 X Trial of Nations. The majority of the work done on lap one. Great Britain struggled on lap two. Gianluca Tourneur, the first rider through section one, confirms a podium position for Italy. Thirteen marks scored over the first three sections for Italy, who now sit on 27 marks. They've got a maximum of four to play with over the closing three sections to remain in contention for the victory here tonight. And they would need an utter collapse for France and Spain in the closing stages. But they'll be mathematically out of contention if they drop five marks over the final three sections. Matteo Grattarola working well through section number four. Failed by both Ewan Roberts and Andrew Putt, but clean so far for Matteo Grattarola and clean to the finish. Italy hanging on by a thread then, sit on a lap total of 13 and 27 marks overall with two sections remaining. Gianluca Tourneur next up as the Italians alternate through this lap two. And it will be Matteo Grattarola who brings it home for the Italians in section six. Already guaranteed third position. The bottom three places, at very least, are determined. 
USA will finish at the back. Great Britain will finish in fourth position. Italy still have a mathematical opportunity to improve their ranking. They will need a miracle now. Gianluca Tourneur clean through section five so far. And through clean. So a second consecutive clean result for Italy who find their stride late on. Tourneur finishes with a personal lap total of eight. And Matteo Grattarola still has the final section to ride with Italy sitting on 13 and an overall tally of 27. A maximum of three marks that the Italians can afford to concede here. But they're not going to remain in contention. Italy will finish third tonight after the failure of Matteo Grattarola early in section six. And an embarrassed smile as he walks away. Italy finishing on a lap total of 18. Better the USA and Great Britain to take third overall. So with the final three positions confirmed, it's up to France and Spain to battle for victory. Section one for Benoit Bancaz. One mark already accrued for leaning on the first step of this section one. This one of the longest sections in the lap, opening with that significant step. And that's not all it has in terms of surprises. Benoit Bancaz needs to make it over this crest and around to the closing stages of the section. Let's see what he can do with this, another of the steps on section one. The minder already marking on observation early on. Got time to consider as well. Bankaz makes it up. Oh, he slipped down the side of the cylinder and off to a costly five. That's a disappointing start to lap two for Benoit Bankaz and he knows it, shaking his head in frustration. A narrow misjudgment leaves France on five from section number one. And with Alexander Ferrer next out to steady the ship. An overall total of six now for France. As their senior rider Alexander Ferrer steps up to section two. Disappointment for Benoit Bankaz because he was so close to making it through. With a curved surface, you have to get it absolutely right or slip off the side. And Bankhaus was case in point there. Now onto section two and heading towards the step that has posed such great difficulty to all of his rivals so far. Dable, Putt, Gratarola, all scoring five on this section two. Alexander Ferrer needs to make it to the top because this is the type of section that the Spanish will be able to achieve. Can the French achieve it? Alexander Ferrer being urged on by the local crowd here. Hesitating, taking his time on section two. He's made it onto the sump and hauls himself to the top. Excellent riding from Alexander Ferrer. Two marks accrued on the section to move France onto a lap total of seven and an overall tally of eight. France have dropped nine marks over the opening three sections and now need a really strong run in. Benoit Bancaz taking his third and final section of this lap number two, his sixth section of the night. His last appearance of the day. Seven marks from two sections on this lap so far for Benoit Bancaz. But clean so far on section four. He's already seen Grattarola come through clean. Putt and Roberts fail, but Benoit Bancaz takes a clean. France remain on nine, 10 marks overall. So a double figure tally for France, heading into the last section of the second and final lap. Alexander Ferrer makes it across where Grattarola fell, but does concede a mark, taking a dab with his right foot to steady himself as he gradually works his way through and that's going to be another for leaning there so two marks on observation so far for Alexandre Ferrer France remain on a lap total of 11 and an overall tally of 12 and the pressure will be on Spain as they're last out and will know exactly what they need to do Ferrer heading towards the finish Minder asking for precision 
and he's got precision. Ferrer makes it through. It is three marks on section six, but he's the first rider to make it past both section two and section six. And another strong display from France as they score 12 marks there for an overall total of 13. Spain sits on two marks after the opening seven sections here in Nice. Jaime Busto tallying a single mark score on section one. Benoit Bank has failed the same section. So that's four marks gained for Spain. France sat on six marks at this point. Spain sit on two as Adam Raga works his way through section two. Alexander Ferrer dropped two marks here, becoming the first rider to make it past this major step. Can Adam Raga do it without dropping that two marks and put Spain into an even more comfortable position? They have 10 marks to play with through the remainder of this lap. And Adam Raga won't use any of them here. Up on the back wheel, the first rider clean through section two. A brilliant display, celebrating on one wheel. Jaime Busto has found lap two far from easy so far, notching three marks in his two appearances. Spain sit on a lap total of three, although as I say that, Jaime Busto puts down his left leg and that's going to be four now. Busto has already conceded three marks in his first two appearances on this lap two. This is third and final appearance of the second lap as Spain will leave the two pressure sections, the deciders, to Adam Raga. Busto continuing on. Benoit Bancaz was clean through this section, but Busto a little more scrappy. He does make it to the finish, but accrues two marks on observation to move Spain onto a lap total of five, an overall total of six. And they have seven marks to play with now on France. France finished on 13, remember? So if Adam Raga makes it through this section, Without dropping major marks, then Spain will be champions with a section to spare. If Adam Raga can remain clean or drop a maximum of one mark, Spain will seal the deal here in section five in Nice. It's so far so good for Raga. He makes it to the top of the section, only needs to drop down the other side. Spain win the 2016 X Trial of Nations with a section to spare. Not as dominant as some of their other victories, France kept up a good pursuit, but finished six marks behind on lap number two. And it's Spain who win overall. A successful return to the X Trial of Nations for Adam Raga and a winning debut for Jaime Busto, who scored just five marks over the six sections he completed. And it's Spain who win by a six mark margin over France. Great Britain in the end consigned to a battle with the USA over fourth. France taking a comfortable second position over Italy. Spain the champions once again. I don't think we really gave our maximum. The second lap was better, but we made so many silly mistakes. We hoped to do a lot better and race for second position. Beating Spain would have been too difficult. We started really strong on the first lap, sitting with the Spanish on just one point. The sections on lap two were much more difficult, with several very high steps. But I think we had a good race nonetheless. A second place is fantastic. First would have been exceptional, of course, but we're very happy with our results. We're very happy with this victory because the first lap was tied on one point. On the final lap, with more difficult sections, we were able to open a margin and win. We're very happy because we've ridden very well. A second consecutive runner-up position for France in front of their home crowd is a reward for an excellent performance. But it's a first extra of Nations medal for Jaime Busto and an incredible tenth successive victory for Spain. Do you